interesting, but I tell you what, that is a substantial vegetable for the middle of January, it really is. So you fancy growing a bit of radicchio, do you? Oh yeah, that is bitter. Now radicchio is an Italian form of chicory. It's quite a wild plant in the sense that the seed has not really been bred like a lot of other vegetables. A lot of other vegetables like cabbage have been selectively bred for thousands, hundreds of years. Um, but radicchio, and you can see it in the seed, it really has that wild look to it and sometimes what you find is if you sow radicchio or grow radicchio plants that you might get the odd one that just goes off and takes more of its original wild form and have a few more jagged leaves and um, the idea really of growing radicchio is to get a firm head at the end of the season towards autumn winter time um, and they even say a little bit of frost is just perfect um, just to enhance the flavour that little bit more. Now it has a very very bitter flavour and I don't know if any of you have ever gone down the route of cooking and eating with dandelions sometimes that bitter flavour is an acquired taste but it can be very good with certain foods like pasta and things like that and what you've got to remember is a lot of the wild plants or plants closer to their original ancestors would be bitter and what we've done over the years is try to breed that bitterness out and it is in fact the chemicals in them plants which make them bitter which are actually very very good for us and um, they're good for the liver and the things like that things like dandelion that's why these plants have got such health giving properties because they're more like their original wild counterparts but you know i've got to say radicchio and i did try to do a video on radicchio earlier on um, actually a couple of years ago and I've got um, some radicchio that I grew there and I will flash back to that video and you might have seen it in my intro very very bright mauve red it's, it's just the most incredible red colour um, that comes out of when these things are ready to harvest so I'll be growing sowing some of them today we've got the seed packet here we've got the seeds here we're going to be growing some of this stuff so May to August. Now that's very, very interesting because with radicchio, the nature of this chicory, all chicories, is to flower in the springtime. So if you sow it too early on in the season, it's going to want to flower and bolt. Um, so you don't really want to do that. You want to sow it about, I mean, we're late May now, so I'm giving it a chance now, but really you do want to sow it midsummer. Give them a lot of love and try and build up that nice, um, grow it as if it was a lettuce and then you should be harvesting these towards the winter time now at first they grow very much like a lettuce does and then towards the end they will firm up and the key with them is just to harvest them at the right point what you don't want to do is let them go too over um, and that's what happened with a lot of my ones is uh, they went for too long and then the frost can damage them a little bit and then you, you end up with this sort of rot on every, every every time you pull a leaf out you've got this rot inside so you want to really avoid that one of the things I've noticed after growing it for a couple of years is when it bolts you get this shoot really tall flowering stem and you get a very very beautiful flower out of it um, with a, almost like a blue corn flower when I first researched growing radicchio, a lot of people said it was perennial. And I'm not quite sure about that. I'm not quite sure about it being a perennial. I certainly think that it's been a, I've grown it as a biannual here. Um, and then I've lost them after that. Because what I was, what, what my line of thought was, I'll grow them. I will crop them. And then I will just let them, I will try and get a wild population of them growing in my forest garden. That was my idea. I thought, you know, they look kind of nice with the flowers. And if I get a little bit of a smaller crop off of them, um, we'll give it a go. I mean, it didn't quite work. I've got one that's every year a few sprout up now um, and they bolt very quickly. In fact, I've got one just here on this video that I'll be cutting in to show you. But um, it just shows the very wild nature of the plant. And I have still noticed 
a couple of seedlings coming up this spring. So something for you to think about, you know, they are quite tough and resilient, but try and put the sowings off until later in the season, and then that should guarantee you you're going to get that nice winter crop. Um, one of the bonuses of this crop is it, it's like chard, it, it, it develops a very, very woody taproot. And what a lot of people do, what the French like to do, is they like to dig these up at the end of the year and put them into boxes. Um, and what, what you can do is you can do your initial harvest in autumn when the first frost come. You can just cut it just, just above the root and you'll get some soft whippy. Be quite bitter, but you can harvest that if you want an extended season and you can they'll you just take some whippy leaves off of that and you'll just get a little bit more of a crop or you can what the french do is you dig them up you put them into cool places in the dark into boxes of sand um, upright and then you can crop them for a, a good few weeks even a couple of months in winter time and it's a it's it's quite a it's like forcing beetroot or chart you get like a sort of good flavor out of it you know so that's another way of doing it but what i did and started to do and i'll show you at the end of this video is the one that i harvested i dug the whole stalks up and then i put them in the woodland garden and what would sort of typically happen with that is you'd get a little bit more flower crops that year and then next year you'd get a tall flower and you can sort of take these sort of leaves off as you want them as well and don't get me wrong you know they they can be good to decorate a plate and you can shred these up and put them in salads just to add that little bit of bitterness to them like i've said before you know with me i'm not too fussed about the big heavy gluts i want little bits and bobs i can go throughout the year that's what i'm aiming to do anyway so it is a very wild plant and it's definitely worth giving a go and it's quite an impressive looking plant as well you know certainly i haven't seen anything that that dazzling red in the the not even a flower border to be on to be honest with you now radicchio is a very very popular vegetable in Italy. What I love about this vegetable is it's so bloody hardy. I mean this is the middle of winter and just look at that. But you get this lovely red foliage. I mean it's sometimes mistaken for, for cabbage. What I'm actually going to do with this one is I'm going to harvest the leaves. Right so I'm in the forest edge food forest garden now. And it's been a bit bare, to be honest, it was its first year establishing last year, so I'm going to plant this bad boy right down in here. Tough as old boots, this stuff. Like forestry stock. Just stick them in. Now that'll be fine. I might harvest a little bit of that later, but... That root ensures that it can stay and survive no problem. You know, over the next month or two, that will settle in with a bit of rain. I'll probably give it a bit of water now, but a great accompaniment to the forest garden also. Right, so when you come to sowing these, obviously you'll do it later in the season. I just go for compost. I think with even the wild kind of plants, give them the best start, put them in compost put something a little bit finer on top the packet says plant them 1.5 centimeters deep i think that's a bit excessive all right i'm going for half a centimeter eight millimeters something like that um, and i'm just spreading this sandy sort of mix over the top and then just smooth that over the top give them a good water um, and just make sure they're kept moist for the first week you know you're looking at a week to two weeks germination for these just get them strong and then plant them out and then just try and not let them dry out when you're planting them out plant them out make sure you do at least 30 a foot really if you want big ones probably best a foot to be perfectly honest with you you can leave them 40 centimeters if you want a bigger sort of crop but i would say go with that and um they are a bit of a novelty and they look so beautiful and if you you wanna if you're into a healthy a healthy diet it's certainly it's certainly worth developing that bit of taste so there you have it, radicchio. Beautiful looking plant, little bit bitter, but it's good for your liver. So radicchio, great, great vegetable. Get out there and grow some. <laughs>